Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. The History of Mali Mali is a landlocked country in West Africa, the eighth largest in Africa by landmass. Its capital is Bamako. Mali's population of about 19 million is comprised of different ethnic groups. The Bambara are the largest ethnic group, accounting for about 36.5% of the population. Other groups include the Soninke, Kasonke, Malinke, Fulbe, and many more. Up to 90% of Malians are Muslims, while 5% are Christian. The remaining 5% practice traditional African religions such as the Dogon. Modern-day Mali was once part of three prominent empires in West Africa, Ghana Empire, the Mali Empire, and the Songhai Empire. The Ghana Empire was the earliest of the three empires. It spanned throughout West Africa from the 8th century until 1078 when the Almoravids conquered it. Its actual name was Wagadu Empire, Ghana being the title of its ruler. The Ghana Empire grew wealthy by engaging in trans-Saharan trade in gold and salt. In honor of this long-gone empire, modern Ghana adopted the name instead of its colonial name of Gold Coast when it gained independence in 1957. The Mali Empire was founded by Sundiata Keita between 1214 and 1255. The wealth of its rulers traveled well beyond Africa, especially at the reign of Musa Keita. At a time, the Mali Empire was the largest empire in West Africa and had great influence on the culture of the region. Unarguably, its most famous ruler was Mansa Musa, who made a famous pilgrimage to Mecca from 1324 to 1326, traveling with an entourage that was over 60,000 large and expended so much gold on the trip that gold became greatly devalued. He is often described as the wealthiest individual of the Middle Age era and one of the richest people in history. Modern Mali owes its name to this medieval empire. The name Mali means the place where the king lives, which is a connotation for strength. The Songhai Empire dominated the Western Sahel during the 15th and 16th century. At its peak, it ranked among the largest states in African history. Timbuktu was one of the important cities in this empire and it became a major center of learning with the establishment of the University of Timbuktu in the 16th century. During Sony Ali's rule, the Songhai exceeded the Milan Empire in power, wealth, and area, taking up vast areas of the Mali Empire. However, the empire collapsed after Sultan Ahmad al-Mansur of Morocco sent his army against it in the late 16th century. In the late 19th century, Mali fell under the control of France and became part of what was known as French Sudan. In early 1959, French Sudan formed a federation with Senegal to become the Mali Federation. The federation achieved independence on the 20th of June 1960. However, Senegal withdrew from the federation in August and the French Sudan became the independent Republic of Mali on the 22nd of September 1960. This is the date that is celebrated as Independence Day in Mali. Modibo Keita was the first president of Mali. Keita was in power for eight years before he was overthrown in a bloodless military coup led by Musa Traoré. Traoré held on to power for over two decades. At that period, the country faced economic hardship and political conflicts. There were several students-led protests calling for his resignation beginning in the late 1970s as well as multiple coup attempts. On the 26th of March 1991, 
Traore was eventually removed in the coup by Lieutenant Colonel Amadou Tumani Toure, who immediately legalized opposition parties. The coup is referred to as Mali's March of Revolution of 1991. When Mali's first democratic presidential elections were held in 1992, Alpha Umar Konari was elected president. He was re-elected in 1997. In 2002, Amadou Toumani Toure, who led the coup that deposed Musa Traoré, was elected as the next president. He was also re-elected in 2007. However, towards the end of his presidency, on the 22nd of March 2012, he was forced into hiding after some angry soldiers carried out a coup. He eventually resigned on the 8th of April and then went on exile in Senegal. Amadou Haya Sanogo, who led the coup, assumed leadership of the new governing body, which was the National Committee for Recovering Democracy and Restoring the State CNRDRE. Then, Diokonda Traore became interim president from April 2012 to September 2013 when a democratically elected president in the person of Ibrahim Boubacar Keita assumed office. Mali has a good relationship with the West and America especially since 2002. They are also active in Africa's regional organizations such as the African Union and ECOWAS until its suspension over the 2012 coup d'etat. Agriculture is Mali's key industry and cotton is the nation's biggest crop export. Mali also grows tobacco, rice, millet, corn, vegetables and tree crops. Agriculture, livestock and gold make up about 80% of their exports. After South Africa and Ghana, Mali is the third largest producer of gold in Africa. Its GDP stood at 17.16 billion US dollars as at 2018. As far as sports in Mali is concerned, football is king. In 2002, Mali hosted the African Cup of Nations, which further increased the sports popularity in the country, where they finished at fourth place. Basketball and traditional wrestling also enjoy some good measure of popularity in Mali. Malian musical tradition started with griots who were storytellers, historians, and praise singers. The history of the people formed the lyrics of their songs. Today, Malian music has grown much more diverse with different genres. Some famous Malian singers include Tumani Diabate, Basiku Koyate, and blues guitarist Ali Farka Toure. Others are Afropop singers like Salif Keita, Amadou E. Mariam, and Umu Sangare. Some of the sites people love to see when they visit Mali include the tomb of Askia, a ruler of the Songhai Empire in the 16th century, the National Museum of Mali in Bamako, the Guina Falls, which is sometimes called the Niagara Falls of Mali, and the city of Timbuktu, which has a rich historical background worldwide. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.